Hi, this is Kevin Vitale. I'm a real estate agent and I happen to have uh, been trained and gone to school to be a photographer and worked in the commercial industry for many years uh, before getting into the real estate business. One of the things I wanted to do is go through how I go from this shot, which is just a base available light shot, to this shot here, which is the finished shot that's splashed out. Um, and then one of the techniques I use is to walk into the scene and actually flash different areas that I want to highlight that I'm having trouble getting light into from behind the camera. Um, this happened to be a very narrow room. Um, I'm shooting two corners, so it's very hard to put lights in to get where I want them. So this technique allows me to do that. I've done it with the self timer on my camera and walked into the scene and have done it. Um, I now currently use a cam ranger to do that so I can really walk into the scene and see what I'm doing. So to go from here to here, I'm just going to walk you through the steps real quick. Um, this is just a base available light shot, slightly corrected in Lightroom. Um, this is the uh, two shots that are actually, this is a flash shot. This is just one fill flash bounced off the wall behind me. Um, I had difficulty because there was a large mirror. I didn't have a lot of choice about where to put this. So lots of times what I'll do is I'll take an available light shot and I'll take a f uh, flash shot that, that's filled out and I will kind of just blend them to get the, together to get uh, the best of both worlds. Um, I kind of like this around here. And then the next step is to show you what we've got here. So now we're adding different shots. So this is, I'm going to actually disable, uh, delete this layer mask so I can show you what I did. So here, what I'm trying to do is light up this corner and the chalkboard um, and even the um, part of the fireplace here. So what I'm going to do is go to the lasso tool. I'm just going to, and this can be, this does not have to be crazy, crazy, insanely accurate. There we go. Then what we do, um, so again, this is the layer mask tool we're using here. Um, we go to modify. We're going to feather it. We're going to put a heavy feather on it, like 150. We're going to hit OK, and that really will soften it down and help it blend. Then we go to... Um, layer mask and we're going to reveal just what we selected here so watch down here on the layer mask you'll see what happens so we bring that in um, and you can see that and then what we're going to do is if you put it into the light mode you'll find it's more forgiving than if you leave it normal now as you can see here you're still catching this is this blended down but you're catching me in the shot we're gonna enable that again so what we do is we take our brush tool go to the brush and I am just gonna use black and brush me out so I am not in the shot anymore um, there we go and so I want to just blend this this wall in here so this is the result what we've done is we've taken and we've lightened up this chalkboard that's used as a centerpiece for the fireplace and we've lightened up this whole corner by doing so so we're gonna do we're gonna just show you what we did there there we go next area I wanted to lighten up was right around the fireplace um, oh and I wanted to point out y y we can fool around with this slider and if we can bring it where we want it to go we don't have to do it at a hundred percent I actually want to bring this back just a little bit to maybe right there. Then, like I said, I want to do the fireplace and bring that up a little bit. So we're going to turn that on. Um, and again, we just did the layer mask. Um, we can fiddle with this and... Whoops, wrong one. We can fiddle with this and bring this where we want. Uh, and then again, if you don't like the layer mask, you can adjust it where you want. Um, now 
I know on this one I was showing, I'm just going to add back to the layer mask and that needs to be white. So using a mask is just a great tool because you can go back and fix anything. So just to show you here, I did have to fix this mask. There, you know, there's some oddity showing up. Whoops, I'm using the wrong place. Uh, we want to step backwards. Uh, so we want to use this mask. So you know, we had a we had a hard shadow here. You can see the hard shadow, and um, I didn't want that there. So I took and switched to uh, the black paintbrush. 100% and I just work that until that hard shadow is gone giving that nice soft look then um, Again, this is what we did to the fireplace. It really brightens up the fireplace um, Where where I'd like to see it and again you can adjust the slider Up and down until you get it where you want it. I don't want too much here, actually. I just want a little bit of fill in here, and I want this to pop a little bit. I don't want too much. Then lastly, um, I wanted to brighten up here. Um, so I took the flash and brought that in. Um, and again, I'm just gonna adjust that until finally we bring all the layers together and we're here. Now, if we go back and just to show you, if we delete or disable the layers, we're going to bring this back to 100. You can see me holding the flash here and what I'm doing to I'm holding the flash here, bouncing it off the ceiling which again, I walk into the scene and this way I can selectively light in the scene by doing this. So we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna bring this back down to, I like this around, around here. Then in this one, again, I'm gonna disable the mask. Um, this is at 28%, we're gonna bring this all the way up. You can actually see me firing the light at the fireplace here. Um, so again, we're gonna put this mask back and um, I liked this down around, ooh, somewhere around here. Let me turn this on, lighten up this area. And again, you can fiddle with that until we get this. So it's just a matter of walking into the scene and lighting selective areas which you can't light from behind the camera and obviously to put lights in the scene you're, you're going to get the equipment showing up so the layer mask is a quick tool to allow you to do this i find like dark areas like fireplaces i've been doing this for a long time um, if the cam ranger is an expensive piece of equipment and if you don't want to spend the money i'll set the self timer on like 10 seconds click the button walk into the scene. Um, you do run the risk of um, moving the camera and getting your layers uh, hard to adjust. That's one of the advantages of the Cam Ranger is you never have to touch your camera. You can make all the adjustments in the world and never move the scene. So this is what we have and hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you.